in this video I'm going to give you the most powerful oral sex technique for women when you go down on her. This technique is going to make you the ultimate lover. Do you want to give her very average, underwhelming oral sex that every other guy is doing? A basic, tedious, unimpressive licking her out that she just sits through and it's okay. If that's what you want to do that's totally fine, then this video is not for you. There are many videos on YouTube called How to Eat Her Out Like a Pro that will teach you that kind of oral sex. Or do you want to possess an oral sex technique that gives you something really amazing that she has never felt before? Where in every moment you awaken many more dimensions of pleasure for her. Incredible sexual energy flowing through her on and on putting her into orgasmic waves and blissful states. A really powerful oral sex that is really nourishing for her. And it is even a spiritual and transcendental experience for her sometimes. I am Alexi Welsh and I have been teaching tantric sexuality for the last 20 years, uh, specializing particularly in female sexuality. So it is easy to think that uh, I'm going to give you some a specific movement on the clitoris to move this way or that way with your tongue or in a circle, and that's going to be the most powerful oral sex technique. A correct movement is important. I'm going to tell you a few things at the end of the video, which movements to use. I'm going to give you some ideas. The movement is not the main technique that really makes amazing oral for women. The most important thing to give her a really amazing experience is how you are doing this movement, the energy you are creating there, the feeling that she's feeling from you. That has a much more powerful effect on her sensation, on her pleasure, on her orgasmicity, and because of that, it is a technique, a more powerful technique than just which movement you are using. So I'm going to tell you how to make her feel really amazing, cosmic, transcendental, orgasmic in oral sex. But for that, I need you to understand first the background, why it is not amazing the way guys do oral sex normally. So typically what guys do is they pick a movement that they think works well for the clitoris and makes it feel good, and then they stimulate the clitoris with that movement repetitively, rhythmically. They do that movement in a rhythm and they keep repeating it to stimulate the clitoris because everybody has told you that you need to stimulate your clitoris rhythmically and repetitively and then you're going to make her come. So you're repeating this movement in a rhythm and you're trying to make her come. Maybe even you will at some point go stronger or faster, right? To try to make her come with that repetitive movement. This is what makes really awful oral sex. The movement itself could even be a good movement. You might be using the correct technique. The fact that you're using that movement rhythmically and repetitively and trying to make her come, that is what makes really poor oral sex. If you're doing something repetitively and monotonously and um, uh, rhythmically on her body, it's going to lose feeling because it is boring. It is desensitizing her. It's going to be difficult for her to stay with the feeling. And you didn't even awaken the feelings in the first place because you started with boring movement. Secondly, she is bored. It's tedious industrial work. There's nothing interesting about this kind of sex. So she struggles to stay with it and to uh, enjoy it. Third, she just feels worked like a machine, like a piece of equipment. She's not feeling your love, your connection, you conversing with her. And that just feels not very nice. And that's why, you know, her sensations shut down as well. And fourth, because you're so obviously trying to make her come, it puts a lot of pressure on her. Is she taking so long? What if she doesn't come? It's all just stress in her body and stress in her body shuts down sensations. So this is what creates such a poor experience for her. And with this technique that I'm going to give you now, you're going to change all of that. And it's really easy. It's really simple. Anybody can do it. There are two parts to this technique. The first part, do not have any rhythm. Don't do anything rhythmically. Forget what I told you about this and fight in yourself this habit to make things rhythmical, to make them repetitive. You will have that habit. Fight it. I want you to just give her one nice sensation in this moment. Make this movement to make a really nice sensation for her right now. A nice sensation that will vibrate into her body right now. Then make another movement and send another vibration of that sexual energy into her body again. Then make another movement and send another vibration of sexual energy into her. Just relax in your head. Understand that your purpose here is not to give her some one intense sensation of a climax. Your purpose here is to keep running that sexual energy into her body so that she can really enjoy it. She can be nourished by it. Just relax and keep sending those sexual sensations into her body moment by moment. Don't have any rhythm. Just make one movement for one sensation then another movement 
for one sensation and so on. And what happens there is that you become so present that you're giving her a sensation right now. She really feels it. She really feels that you connect. Then her whole body lets go and really opens to you. And she feels so much more pleasure from it, so much more sensation. And because you are focusing on just this sensation in this moment, you will naturally create different sensations. They will naturally be a little bit different. Maybe different in strength, maybe different in a place, different in a kind of movement, different in the length. They are not going to be the same. They're not going to be repetitive. It will happen naturally. And this really awakes her senses because her body is not bored, because uh, there is variety go going on. And her body becomes a lot more sensitive. And if you focus on just giving her one sensation in every moment and go on like this, then she doesn't feel that you are trying to make her come. So she doesn't feel this pressure. She doesn't feel this goal, this objective. She feels that you really want her to enjoy the moment. So she really starts enjoying the moment. And the beautiful thing that happens there is that this pleasure just really expands into her body. It just starts flowing into her body on and on and on because there is no goal. And then she feels an incredible sexual energy flowing through her body. And it becomes this transcendental state where she goes into a different dimension. It's a much more nourishing and powerful experience. Now, a little tip is that you might want to use some different movements on the clitoris just to keep that variety. And you want to gradually, gradually escalate from uh, more gentle sensations to stronger sensations. You know, that's it. So let me just make a quick break here to mention that if you want to learn more, I have a full online course for men where I teach you the complete practice for sex. The full understanding of women and every technique for every part of sex that you need to be an advanced lover. The link to my course is in the description below the video. Now, the second part to this technique, also really powerful, is you have to love her down there. Don't just work it like a machine. Don't work it like a mechanism. Love how she feels. Love how sexy she feels to you. Don't stimulate it. Caress her. Stroke her. Literally imagine that you are sending love from your face into her and just really enjoy how she feels. This will be transformational for her experience in oral. First of all, when you love a woman's body, it just really opens to you because her body really feels it. It really opens all the sensation and sensitivity. It gets so much more engaged because you're really present there. Her body really feels you. So much more pleasure will open up when she feels loved. Secondly, women hold so much, you know, shame and negative feelings about that part of their body, all cultural. For her, it's going to be an amazing experience of you giving that love and healing her with it. She will let go emotionally of all those negative feelings about herself down there, and that's going to create a massive effect on her sexual energy. Again, it's going to be a spiritual experience, a transcendental experience to be physically loved in that part of her body. Now, I hope you can see that the movements, you know, they need to be correct and you can do the movements. But how much power you're going to give to your movements, I promise you, stick to these two principles and she will have an amazing oral that she has never had. And then you can build on that and try all the different movements. But these two principles are going to change everything. Now, in terms of the movements, you can use whatever is already working uh, for her. This is just going to really intensify it, but it's not a bad idea to learn some good movements. For the movements specifically, you have a free course uh, below this video via the link in the description. It will show you all the best movements you can use and how to escalate them. So, you know, the easiest thing is just to uh, watch that free course. It's completely free for you. Now, you might be wondering, this is all amazing, but what about the orgasm? Well, first of all, you are shifting now from just giving her a climax to an ongoing orgasmic experience. Uh, waves of sexual energy that keep flowing and flowing into her. Because when you give her oral this way, this is what's going to happen. It's far more satisfying for a lot of women than a climax. But even if you wanted to create a climax, you still want to do this first, like this, until the very end when she's already really turned on. And she will find it easier to um, get much more turned on and to come to that intensity if you do it this way than if you're numbing it with repetitive movement. So when she's very close, you can then switch to that repetitive movement just to close it for a, a very short sprint. Now, if you want to learn more about that, uh, there is a video I have that is called The Best Technique for a Clitoral Orgasm. It will explain to you in detail how to move from this kind of amazing uh, stimulation for her to that point of an orgasm, if you really wanted to do that. 